Hi, welcome to Fusion 360 video tutorial. The next part in the WW109 fighter plane series. Today I want to model a propeller. Not a real working one, but at least a good looking one. Regarding propellers, real working ones, I've got already some videos on that topic in my channel. So let's start with a revolve up there. So let's do a where is my sketch plane? There you go. A sketch on the main sketch plane. Zoom in. And I need a construction element here, which should be a line like this and one like that. Then I need a spline, but not for construction should start here at that point and then should go along that curve here maybe just maybe like this and confirm and i need tangency here this shouldn't be tangent so go for tangent this line and that curve here finish that sketch and let's make a surface revolve. The profile would be this one, the axis would be that one, and it should go with 360 degrees if I go the other way around. And that's not possible, so I can't change the normal with the command itself, so I have to go and maybe move it down a little bit, that sketch. So go to that sketch, move it down a little bit, at least the axis, finish that sketch, and let's reverse the normal to that surface and confirm. Okay, let's hide it, that would be the body here, this one. And I want to reuse the wing profile, so go to the wing profile sketch, select that profile here, control C for copy, finish that sketch and make a new sketch on the main sketch plane, and paste it, control V. Let's move it to a more better location up there let's zoom in maybe maybe just like that and confirm now i want to scale that profile and therefore i need a point so let's go for create point and put it right there and okay, now go for scale. Modify sketch scale. I want to scale all those elements here. Yes. Deselect that point and use it as scale point. The point would be this one. And then there should be, there you go. And I want to go for a scale factor of, let's say, 0 0.15 and confirm. Yeah, it looks good. I could change it a little bit. At least that point could be maybe like this. Yeah, that's OK. And I will need this profile on a, another plane. So let's select it, Control C for copy, finish that sketch, and let's make a new plane parallel to the main sketch plane with an offset to that main sketch plane, and the offset should be maybe 700. Okay, I could hide that image so hide the canvases okay 
go to the new plane on this one and make a new sketch control V for paste let's go up there and I want to move it and scale it and rotate it but at first I want to scale it then rotate it and then move it so in order to do that I will add sketch 17 now I can scale with that point so go for modify sketch scale select them all deselect that point and select that point as scale point and let's go for 0 0.6 And let's bring back that sketch just to see that this one worked. Now I want to move it and I want to rotate it. But if I rotate it, I got problems with that end. So that's really, really annoying. I could move this point a little bit. And that point, or maybe this one as well, like that. I can move it. So go for move copy a little bit to the right maybe like this let's bring back that sketch yeah looks okay but now how to rotate this one without losing here the tangency let's bring back sketch 17 and take a look yeah looks okay and now i can do a loft between those two sketches so maybe hide those those bodies as well like this and now go for a loft loft here from go for chain selection this one here Activate chain selection, select it, and the second profile would be, of course, this one here. That one should give me a nice surface, and I want to go for a direction that would be normal to the sketch planes. And confirm. Now, in order to close that here with a wing with a blade tip I will need another plane so let's show that sketch I think that's the one yes and I want to use this axis here not that one the rotated one for a plane with an angle no that's not possible here so go for plane at angle and select this one here and make it 90 degrees Now I need a sketch there, and I could hide this sketch. So go for another sketch on that plane here, and I want to intersect. Go for create, project include, intersect, and I want to intersect this surface here with the sketch plane. And the other one over there as well so let's see if we can yeah we can and confirm now i could hide this it should give me two curves yes put those two for construction only now let's add a spline which starts here and goes maybe like this over there and add tangency over here and over there adjust those points a little bit maybe no not like this Yeah, make it like that. Mm. 
Yeah, that looks okay. Now bring back that surface and I want to go for a patch or a loft. You could go for a patch and use this one as rail. Let's take a look how this would work. So go for a patch. So go for a chain selection, select these edges here. Oh, it already snapped onto something, but I want to use this as rail. So that would give you some si sort of nice blade tip and you could go for tangency here. Tangency, tangency, tangency and tangency. So that would be quite a nice blade tip here. You could go for that, but I want to do it with a loft and two patches or two more lofts. So let's go to a loft, no chain selection, select just this arc here and that arc here, this one. And that seems to be okay, yes, and go for a rail, and the rail would be this one. And it should be, of course, tangent on both sides. So let's confirm this and reverse the normal here and confirm. Now you could go for a patch or a loft. Let's see if a patch would work. Check it out, go for a patch. Where's the patch? There you go. No chain. Select this edge and that edge and go for tangency. Let's take a look. Yeah, looks okay. Yeah, I, w I want to go with that. Same on the other side, another patch, no chain selection, yes, this edge and that edge here, and again go for tangent and tangent. Yeah, looks okay as well, so confirm. Now I have reverse normal and then I could let's first reverse the normal and I could adjust the tension here so that would be this one here if I that's the first edge so that's this one if I go for let's so say 0 0.7 doesn't work okay because it should be zero column seven no and that's not possible zero column five works let's try six mm, yeah maybe could I go for seven It doesn't go, doesn't get better. So let's stay with zero, zero point five and confirm. Because you could go for a loft as well, but let's leave it like it is. Now I want to stitch those together, of course. And I will need something similar on the other side. So I will need that profile on the other side and I have to turn it in a different way. So maybe I could change that circular pattern if it copies to the other side. 
So first I will need another plane with a distance to the main sketch plane, but on the other side, so that would be minus 700. So go for an offset plane to the main sketch plane, and that would be minus 700. Okay, and now I need a sketch there, but first I have to copy that sketch here, and that was sketch 20, I suppose. Yes, so let's go there and select just that profile if it's possible. Or I, I could, of course, select all of these. Control C, finish that sketch, and make a new sketch on that plane here. So go for that plane, make a sketch, and just paste that sketch. Let's see what happens. There you go. Is that the correct position? Yes, it seems to be. Is it correct oriented? Yes. Now if I could change that pattern, if that pattern is copied as well, but it seems Let's hide that for the moment, that body here, because I haven't stitched it together, so let's hide them. It's more than one. Is there, hide that sketch, is there a pattern here as well? Seems no. At least I can't see one, so I could of course delete those curves here, this one, that one, the arc, and that arc, even that point. Now let's make these not for construction. And I could make another pattern. Okay. And now I want to turn it in that direction. Should be plus 10. So create another circular pattern. Select these. Deselect the point. Go for that center point here. Go for two. Not full, but an angle. And this should be probably 10 degrees. Seems okay. And now I want to make these for construction again. And finish that sketch. Now let's bring back our bodies. Yep, and now I want to make another loft from here, that profile to that edge is over there. So go for create, go for loft, go for chain selection, yes. Select this one here and then select those edges here and go for tangent and here for direction and confirm. And now I can put those together. So go for stitch, this surface, that surface, and those three surfaces as well. This one, that one, and the one at the top. And confirm. Yeah, gives me a nice air blade. Next I have to move this a little bit and then make a pattern. So let's bring back our canvas. There you go. And let's take a look. And maybe bring back that surface here, yes. And I want to move that air blade in that direction. 
So go for modify and go for move copy. Select that plate. In this case, it should be a body, this body. And along the axis, yes, where is that? It should go in that direction. That would be the set direction, I suppose, yes. So let's grab it here and move it maybe here yeah, up to this point. And you could even turn it so you got a nice little angle there. So if I rotate it a little bit, maybe like this, give it some sort of edge here. Looks okay, so let's confirm this. Now I could hide that canvas again. I want to trim. So go for trim. The tool would be this surface and I want to remove or keep this side. So which one to select? Select the surface which is removed the side and OK. Now trim once more. Now that's the tool and I want to remove this here and confirm. Let's bring back that sketch for this one. And that should be that could that this might be that sketch. Yeah. And now I want to make a pattern around that axis with this body here. Create a circular pattern with a body. Axis would be that one. Full and I want to have three instances. Full is OK. And there could I... Oh, the objects. I have to select the objects and then I can go for my three instances. Now let's trim. Trim tool would be this one and I want to remove that surface here. OK. Another trim with that surface and I want to remove this surface here and confirm. And now I should be able to stitch this. So go for another stitch. This surface, that surface here this one and that one and confirm and i'm done so i hope this was helpful hope you enjoyed it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook cat fan page would be very nice of you i want to get get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye